this is 37th Street Radio and TV. And of course, we are out here hooking you up with the best of the best when it comes to interviews. And today we have another special guest. So guest, please introduce yourself. So hi, my name is Lillian Kogi, and I'm currently a student. I am a model. I've done a hosting job for a corporate event. Yeah, so basically that's just about me. Yeah, so we see that you are a model, hostess, hospitality student. I just want to know from all these things, what comes, what came first? Um, modeling. <coughs> I started it, as a model. Yeah. Is it something that you you have always wanted to do while you are young, or the interest just came as an adult? I think the interest just came as an adult. I never thought that we were modeling or anything. So, yeah. So how did you even start pursuing this now on a professional level? Like I've said, I started with um, Runway. So there's an event that I went to audition for. I didn't get the first time. The second time I also didn't get. So when I went to audition for their third edition is when they saw maybe, hey, we are making auditions of Kwanzaa, Zapili, Tattoo. So that's how it started. And I got to train there. And then I've been training more and more. Yeah, so that's how it started. So at that time, maybe, did you experience any self-doubt when, when you are going for the first time, they are not selecting you? At that time, what was going on through your mind? Did you experience any self-doubt and how did you just keep on going? I'm persistent. So <laughs> I, I actually just kept on going for it. I just kept on going for it. And I actually even signed up with an agency where I got to do my first ad, TV ad. I was way back. Yeah. So I kept just shooting my shots every now and then. You're still signed to an agency right now? Yeah, but uh, I'm not that active with building a portfolio there, not, not that much, yeah. Because the agency that I signed with first, nowadays they, they don't operate as agent as an agent for modeling anymore, yeah. What can you say are the maybe advantages of being signed to, um, to an agency? Because there are also models that uh, they're just freelancers. They have maybe their own manager and they run their own business. So what can you talk about from you working with these agencies, what can you say are the advantages that you get from working with the agencies? I think the top most advantage for me is the fact that, you know, big brands and clients know they've gotten, they've got models from this agency and maybe the models fit in for their campaign. So you can find that um, brands may approach um, the agency because they know that they have models. So I think that's the most top advantage. It's because brands know that upper core agency, so is the cosa model money at a fit into my criteria of what I want. Yeah. I've also checked that you have done music video, a music video. So uh, is this something that uh, you love doing and you will always do, or was it just a one-time thing? I've actually done a couple of YouTube videos. I think the one that you've seen, the recent one was like my fourth. Um, I enjoy being behind the camera, honestly. I just enjoy being behind the camera and like I do what is needed to be done as a model. So I don't know. I don't mind being in a YouTube video as long as I'm getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and another thing that I would really like us to talk about is just you doing all of these things, uh, being a model, being a student. Um, yeah. I would like you to just talk to us about how you are able to balance these things because they both need time. Yeah, true. <clears throat> The one actually came up with the notion of balancing stuff is I don't know. I don't know how that person managed because balancing is quite hard. Given the fact that all 
all of these things are demanding. So more jealous might suffer. Atonganga ne kubalanza je. One has to suffer. One has to suffer a little bit, because you you won't put an equal amount of effort to every single thing. Because even behind being a student, there's so much. Kuna assignments, kuna cards, kuna exams. And for modeling, you have to train. You have to go for fitting. You have to do this. You have to do this. So it's just a lot of looking at one thing there's a bigger picture to it there's a lot of things behind that so balancing is quite hard yeah have you you you've talked about uh working with with corporates and i just want you to talk about the experience with working with these corporates like um which corporate did you work with and how was the experience so I worked with um, IDC. Oh my God, do I remember how in full what it means? But it's <clears throat> they are, they are, it's a it's an organization where they do the market research about you know how we are getting into technology and how businesses can now thrive on social media. So what they do is they they've partnered with Akina Google, big big companies, so that they can do market research on how businesses can thrive now online. So it was interesting, you know, getting to meet a lot of people. It was quite interesting, honestly. And I I interact well with guests. Um, as I've done hospitality, so I believe I'm good with interacting with guests, welcoming guests and stuff like that. Does it come like, it's not hard for me. Now, working with these guys, what can you say uh, if maybe you noticed or maybe you're observing keenly, what do they really look for when they're hiring a model? Your confidence. Your confidence. The, the confidence comes first, totally. And an issue about, there's also an issue that has been guys have been really talking about and this is the issue of colorism i don't know if you have experienced such an issue where you are being told you are too dark skin or you are too light skin or something like that for whatever reason they don't want to hire you because maybe of your skin tone have you ever faced such a, a struggle and how did you deal with it um personally i have I haven't experienced such, but I believe there is such a thing. Um, but also at the same time, um, I'm like, you know, the client knows what they want for their ad. They're the ones who are spending money for that campaign that they want to do. So if they want a specific body type, if they want a specific color, if they want a certain, you know, figure, like it's up to them, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Who is the customer? And yeah, the features that you have as a person. So, yeah, from you you starting out uh, in modeling, I want <laughs> you to just talk about things that you look back and you are so proud of them. Uh, things that you can say are your achievements. Maybe a gig that you got. Maybe you you met somebody who you are very happy to meet. So just talk about the achievements that when you look back, you are so grateful. Being on stage, being on the runway, <laughs> being on the runway, that's, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. And just, just talking about the runway, runway modeling, you know, there are usually very many things that usually happen after somebody wins, you start mm -hmm. hearing issues of, she did not deserve and things like that. So uh, how was your experience? Did anything like that ever happen? Somebody who did not deserve went ahead and won the competition for whatever reason, or how was it? Well, I, I um, on that, I, I really don't, don't know. Because uh, I haven't engaged with so many pigeons, they're called pigeons. Those those modeling for for competitions and Echongo pigeons. So I've not necessarily done a lot. I've only participated in one, um, Queen of Pearls, and actually got to have that the top top part. And I, I don't, I haven't 
I don't know. I don't feel like pageantry is something that I'd, I'd focus on modeling for competition. <laughs> yeah, when still just looking about looking on modeling as an, the industry right now in Kenya, uh, mm. what do you think needs to change for you guys to compete globally and this to be a career that is well respected by people? First of all, people should take it as a career. <laughs> That's the first thing. And second, it's unity as models, also as creatives, as, as one. You know, when we're together, better things happen. It's easier to move forward, even as a country, when we are united. And another thing is um, brands and agencies, like even people who hire models, like they shouldn't take advantage because at a minute, this is a skill I've learned. And when I come to do that shoot, at least I know how I'm going to move and I know how to work this and this and this. So there's no need for one to take the advantage of the other just because it just looks easy or something of that sort. What, what do you do to, to stay on top of your game? because there are very many models. So I'm just interested to know what you do in order to stay on top of your game and even compete with others. Um, let's just say, I just be myself. That's all I can say. I just remain authentic and just being myself. That's my, my, that's my number one. So what, what are your plans for the future like where do you see yourself in the future will you pursue a job in hospitality do you have plans to continue being a model or you will just go where the money is at that moment i'll go where the money is at that moment <laughs> but long term i'm also an entrepreneur so i actually have a page where i sell heels it's called at the sensational ke um, I sell heels from, okay, the lowest I have is three inch. So from three inches and above for heels. So I most definitely will venture into business slowly by slowly. Once I get, you know, capital from whichever, where the money goes, I follow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then. Okay. And then, so as we are finishing up, I just want to, for guys who are starting out, and in this modeling and also you have talked about entrepreneurship what's the yeah. advice you can give them advice i can give one who's starting out or venturing into anything be confident be persistent and put in the work <laughs> that's that part <laughs> <laughs> okay then. thank you so much for giving us your time we wish you all the best Thank you for hosting me. Bye-bye. Okay,